this is a short presentation on the software engineering code of ethics that has been developed by ACM and IEEE for software engineering disciplines. ACM and IEEE are the two most prominent organizations that are relevant to uh, software engineering and they have been involved directly in the development of code for professional practice and code of ethics relating to computer science and software engineering. Uh, these links over here show the direct references to these codes by ACM and IEEE, although there is one link on the ACM website, but it's referred to as the Joint ACM IEEE CS Software Engineering Code. Starting with IEEE, on their website, they have put forward this statement. We, the members of IEEE, in recognition of the importance of our technologies in affecting the quality of life throughout the world and in accepting a personal obligation to our profession, its members and the communities we serve do hereby commit ourselves to the highest ethical and professional conduct and agree. First, to uphold the highest standards of integrity, responsible behavior, and ethical conduct in professional activities. Two, to treat all persons fairly and with respect, to not engage in harassment or discrimination, and to avoid injuring others. And third, to strive to ensure this code is upheld by colleagues and co-workers. This is the page from IEEE that shows the code of ethics and in fact you can see that there are uh, stipulations, further stipulations that break down each one of the major three statements that uh, were displayed earlier. You are encouraged to browse through it and uh, see all the details regarding uh, the articulation of each one of these uh, statements. You can find the full text on, on this link right here. Now, the ACM Code of Ethics contains eight principles. These principles are shown here and they are sorted to reflect the relative importance of its principle. The first and most important is the public, then client and employer, product, judgment, management, profession, colleagues, and self. When it comes to public, to the principle about public, the summary statement is that software engineers shall act consistently with the public interest. Regarding the second principle, that of client and employer, it summarizes it in the statement software engineers shall act in a manner that is in the best interests of their client and employer consistent with the public interest. As you see, there is a balance between three uh, entities, the client, the employer and the public referred to as the public interest. When it comes to the third principle, that regarding the product, the summary for the statement is that software engineers shall ensure that their products and related modifications meet the highest professional standards possible. Regarding the principle about judgment, the fourth principle, Software engineers shall maintain integrity and independence in their professional judgment. Regarding the management principle, software engineering managers and leaders shall subscribe to and promote an ethical approach to the management of software development and maintenance. Regarding the profession principle, the summary is software engineers 
shall advance the integrity and reputation of the profession consistent with the public interest. For the colleagues principle, the summary is software engineers shall be fair and supportive of their colleagues. And for the self principle, the summary is that software engineers shall participate in lifelong learning regarding the practice of their profession and shall promote an ethical approach to the practice of the profession. This is the code that is adopted by ACM and is published on their website as you see here. This was originally published by Don Gotterborn, Keith Miller and Simon Rogerson in 1997 as the joint ACM IEEE CS Software Engineering Code. On this same page there is a longer treatment of the issue of uh, ethics and ethical principles and as you see it is uh, being articulated in many different uh, respects and you are encouraged to visit this website and look up these uh, principles and the discussion that is published here. All of that is available on this link again. Now the most important principle in the Software Engineering Code of Ethics relates to the quality of life and the well-being of the public that is affected by the technology and the advancements that uh, software engineers are responsible for and contribute to the society. The Software Engineering Code of Ethics represents a set of obligations on those within the profession. The sources of those obligations are the unique elements of the practice of software engineering, the software engineer's humanity, and the special care owed to people affected by the work of software engineers. Now, how should the Software Engineering Code of Ethics be used? It is supposed to serve as a standard for teaching and practicing software engineering, to document the ethical and professional obligations of software engineers, to instruct practitioners about the standards society expects them to meet, to inform the public about the responsibilities that are important to the profession, and to describe what one professional expects of another professional. This is, in short, the summary about the uh, Software Engineering Code of Ethics that has been put forward by ACM and by IEEE. And you are encouraged to visit these links and um, uh, look up this material uh, since you will be going out there and you will be professionals in this field and so you should know what is expected of you and also how you should hold colleagues in the same profession to what standards.